over at me, and she says, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, to tell this story properly, I'm going to need the help of each and every one of you folks. Okay. Whatever I say, and then she said this, I need every one of you to say, oh, no, she, say? she didn't. Yeah. And when I say, and I said this, I need all of you people to say, oh, no, you didn't. Yeah. Can you do that for me? So there we were, driving across Dallas, Texas, as lost as could be. And my wife, she looks at me and she says this. Oh, no, she did it. Oh, yes, she did. She said. Judas, you couldn't find your way out of a plastic sack. Oh. Oh. Well, I looked at her and I said this. Oh, no. Oh, yes, I did. I said, I'll see you at the gory hole and prove I can. <laughs> and that's what brings us here today. Now, we're about to get back to that. We'll prove if I can get out of a plastic sack or not. But in order to do that, I need to introduce something to you. You see, while we were down in Texas, we stopped at a law enforcement auction. Has anybody ever seen one of these before? Yes. <laughs> It's not what you think it is, I promise. This is a prisoner transport belt that's used by many municipalities to take prisoners from a cell to the courtroom for trial. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to be placed in one of these, but I'm going to need a little help from the audience to do that. I'm going to need a volunteer. And I always know who a great volunteer is, because they have that, that, oh no, don't pick me face. Like this man right here. Yes, you, sir. Stand on up. Yeah. What's your name, by the way? Brian. Hey, Brian. Join me on stage. Okay. Come on up here. Brian. Can I get a good? Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. Now, Brian, what I'd like you to do, if you would take this prisoner transport belt from Magnolia, give it a good look over, make sure everything's real. All the chains are connected, the straps are together. Can I borrow that? <laughs> you can use it later. <laughs> now, Brian, what I want you to do is take this belt, you're going to place it around my waist. Ow! Yeah. Buckle in the back. I'm not sure how to do that. My is going to help you. She's good at it! Yeah! A little bit. Now, Brian, I'd like you to buckle the buckle in the back as tightly as you possibly can. That's not 
Now, Brian, the next thing you're going to do, we're going to take my arms. You're going to strap them into the belt. So I'm going to put my arms in front of me. You're going to take a leather strap, and you're going to buckle it as tightly as you possibly can. <laughs> hey, Brian, quick question. Where are you from? From right here in St. Louis. Woo! Right here in St. Louis. Do you normally play with strange men in leather here in St. Louis? <laughs> We're learning a lot about Brian today. <laughs> this is soon going to become the Brian and Friends show. Yeah! Now, Brian, I want you to take one of these chains, put it through the metal loop at the bottom, and I want you to pull it as tightly as you possibly can. Great, do the same to the other side, hold it tight. Good. And now, Brian, once you have those in place, hold them tight. Magnolia here is going to zip tight them. Judas and Magnolia. Thank you very much. 